Hey everyone, in this video, let's do a comparison of Suno versus Udio. In order to do so, here we are at Suno.com and we're also at Udio.com. I personally am more familiar with Suno and what I can tell you with Suno is that just based on the general conversation around these types of platforms, it always to me seems like Suno comes out on top. Uh, recently, they put out their version 4, and the version 4 is extremely powerful. The results that you get are very consistent, they sound great, and you really are getting a full song. In addition to that, the length of the song tends to be uh, towards upwards towards four minutes and you can even extend the song so you don't have to worry about your song getting cut off and not getting uh, the, 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 the whole song that you're looking for. Now looking through Udio, um, as I've been exploring this, let's just take a look here really quick. Uh, okay, so they do have an extend option. So I wasn't sure because I was looking through here and I didn't see that right off the bat, but Udio does have an extend option. So that definitely uh, puts gives it a leg up there. And from what I can see, the results in Udio are really quite good. Uh, let's go ahead and just take a listen here to one of those. So really quite nice. The results are good. The only thing that I will say is that it does do something that I've noticed with Suno in the earlier versions is that the song tends to just kind of jump in and there's no real lead in. With version 4 in Suno, I have seen that they've more or less taken care of that. So your song does begin naturally and sometimes you have to use the extend in order to get the end of the song. But the beginning of the song, anyways, is, is uh, quite natural. Whereas if you listen to this, you can hear for yourself that it just kind of jumps in. So that's something that it could vary from song to song. And this is also something where you might want to make sure that your uh, prompts are as detailed as possible. And I have found with Suno that the prompts that you use, uh, they can be really quite important in terms of getting the kind of quality that you're looking for. In fact, when you are describing your song, it's a good idea to put in things like stereo, high quality, high quality production, uh, things like that to just kind of nudge the AI in the right direction. Now, that being said, with their version 4 and the remaster function um, in Suno, let's just take a quick look at that here. With the version 4 and with the remaster, so you can see here if we click on our little buttons and go up to create, then we have the remaster function here. That really goes a long way to making sure that you get some really consistent results. Let's just take a quick listen here to this one. So that gives you already right there the idea like it starts naturally, whereas with Udio, it just kind of jumped in. And again, that could just be the specific song that we're looking at. There are different songs that you can take a look at. Uh, in this case, the song just kind of jumps in, whereas we can hear, see here with Suno that there's a little bit more, it's a little bit more natural the way that it comes in. So that's the original version. And then let's just take a listen here really quick to the remastered version. So you can get a sense there of the change in quality. Uh, it's not overly dramatic, but there is uh, definitely some improvement there. But the main thing to take note of is just the fact that with the version 4, the lead-in is quite natural. With the other versions, they do tend to have an issue sometimes with how it leads in. So that's something to take into consideration. You're really going to get uh, good results with version 4. 
Um, it's not to say that 3.5 uh, doesn't have good results. It does, uh, but sometimes you do deal with things like just abruptly leading into the song and not getting the whole song that you're looking for. So you do have to do a little bit of uh, additional editing afterwards if you want that to really come out nicely. Uh, let's just take a quick look here with Udio, some of the different options that you have available to you. So let's go ahead and I've uh, got this song. Let's just go ahead and create that. And uh, we'll let that start working. And you can see here about how long it takes with Udio. And we'll just go through the options so we can auto generate our own uh, lyrics that Suno does that. We can create custom lyrics. Um, Suno does that as well. Uh, instrumental. Um, the Like I said, the main thing that I wasn't certain about is the extend function, but that does appear to be here. And uh, let's see here. We can even replace a section. So it's possible here then with the replace a section option, this might be a way of fixing certain issues like that lead in. Uh, you might replace that section and then you're going to need to improve your prompts to make sure that you're getting exactly what you want. So it looks like a lot of the functions here are relatively the same. However, if you look over here with Suno, if you do have the subscription, then you do have a variety of additional options here. Extend, uh, you can create a cover song, make a persona, get stems. This is a very useful feature and you can remaster. So Suno seems to have the edge in that regard. Udio is probably the other uh, platform that if you're looking through the different AI music generators that are out there, Udio is often mentioned as well. So it's not to, uh, 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 to say that it's, it's uh, not a good platform uh, because it definitely has some pretty robust options here. You can see here that um, with the latest model, you can generate two minutes and 10 clips. So this is another place where I would say that Suno probably has the advantage because with Suno, you can generate uh, music that's up to four minutes. So this, the original model, you can generate 32 second clips and then the more recent one, you can generate two minute and 10 clips. Now, again, you can use the extend feature to extend beyond that, but this is just kind of where one of the main places I would say that Suno has the advantage. And um, another thing too, let's just take a look at this. With Udio, you get 10 daily credits and 100 monthly credits. So you definitely get a certain amount of credits here to play around with. Suno also gives you free credits. Suno provides... Uh, 50 free daily credits. I've got the subscription. So they're, they're also very uh, generous with the, with the uh, credits. If you do the subscription, I've never run out of credits before. Um, but in this case, I would say that uh, they both um, offer you some sufficient credits to be able to play around with that. The way that they calculate credits is a little bit different. Um, with Udio, to do a two minute clip is only four credits. So you can do the math on that. You can get, uh, I guess, like a couple of songs um, at least with the daily credits, but then with the monthly credits, then you really do have quite a few credits there to play with. Uh, here we have style reduction. So if there's a specific style that we want to avoid in our song, then we can put that in there. We have a few other options here with prompt strength, lyric strength. We have two different models. So this is another area where I believe Suno has the advantage because right now Suno has four different models. So if you look here, the most, uh, the earliest model is their version two. That's the one that's available. And then we've got three, 3.5, and then the latest model is four. So it does seem that uh, Suno is a bit more up to date and cutting edge when it comes to the models they have available. And then from there, we have our seed and we have the generation quality. So if we really want to uh, increase our generation quality, then we can move that up to ultra. Let's go ahead and just take a quick listen here because I just generated that song so we can hear now for ourselves what the results are like. So just based on a quick listen to that, the quality sounds very good. It does the same thing. It just kind of jumps in. 
So that's something that you might be able to, again, you might be able to fix that with the replace section option, or it might be something that if you have a DAW, then you can do some additional editing in the DAW to try to improve that as much as possible. Let's just take a listen here to the next one. I'm just curious. So very nice results, very nice orchestral score there and uh, somewhat of the same thing. It still kind of jumps in a bit, but that one felt a bit more natural. What you might want to do is in a DAW, just add a little bit of a fade at the beginning to just kind of smooth that out a bit. But overall, if I was to choose between Suno and Udio, then I would say I'm quite happy with Suno. And if I was going to give a recommendation, I would say stick with Suno. That's my personal preference and that's all there is to it. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment and like and subscribe for more helpful tips.